the mystic spear hand. The sorcerer. And the warrior. Three advanced locations that you can get early on into Dragon's Dogma 2. And here's a guide to get them. Now, before you progress on to the video, I'm going to put a spoiler alert here. Spoiler alert? <laughs> spoiler alert. Because uh, some of this, some of the stuff, some of the stuff I'll be telling you will be uh, progressive of the story and anything you might not want to know. So if you want to find out yourself, do it. That's fine. I will try my best to make it not a spoiler heavy, but there'll be some points where I will be. So, spoiler alert. Advance through the story till you reach the capital. This will be where you can find the paths to unlock the three vocations. For the source and the warrior, go to the vocation guild. The key will look like this on your map. For the quest, you will need to go collect the great sword and the arch staff. Arch staff. If those are the only two vocations that you would like to unlock, you can skip the next part and I will make a type time stamp. No. To unlock this mystic spearhead questline, you will need to progress on with the story. Speak to this guy at the bar at night. He will ask you to do three tasks. Now during the recording of this video, I've only done one of these quests, so I don't know which one is quick to do to help progress on with the story, but I know one that will help ensure that you get the mystic spear hand that you don't have to do it. Um, this, this quest will also help unlock the two vocation, the other two vocations at the same time, so better time management. The quest is called Monsters Culling, which entails you going to three points on a map to kill monsters or kill the monsters. So this is the part of the quest where both quests intertwine. Um, for the vocation quest for the sorcerer and the warrior, it asks you to travel to the treble mine and find the great sword and the arc staff at the goblin camp. The culling quest tells you to cull the goblin camp at this mine. So this is where we, we will talk about next, the goblin camp. Once you arrive at the goblin cave, proceed down into the cave. You will find you will need to find these fancy looking chests to get the great sword and stuff. The great sword is quite easy to find as it's located early on in the caves, whereas the staff you may need to dive deeper into the cave to inquire it. Now, once you've got the weapons, depending on whether you've chose to do the monster culling quest, uh, I would suggest completing those quests and going back to the capital. Once back at the capital, speak to the weaponsmith and then speak to the vocation, vocation guild person. And there you will have it, the fighter and the sorcerer vocation. Also, your main pawn can have the fighter and the sorcerer as the vocation as well. Good to know that. For the mystic spearhead, go back to the bar, wait till night and speak to the guy who gave you the quest. Once complete, there is one final step to do and that's to go to Maeve. Mav, Maeve, Mav, sorry, I might have butchered the name. Now, you could traverse it by foot, but I highly recommend not to do it as I tried doing this. And there is so, it is a long road from the capital to Maeve. So I would suggest taking an ox cart. Once you get to Maeve, this is a spoiler alert here, right here. You'll be facing a dragon with bad acne. You can either do, you can either kill it, to kill it quickly, hit the pus things to reduce its health. If you manage to kill a dragon or it flies away, speak to this awesome looking person and you would have unlocked the mystic spearhead. Now, I've been told if he's not willing to talk to you, you will need to do one of two things. Two things. One is go to the Harver village, but doing the monster culling quest, you would have already done that. Or if Sigurd dies, then you will need to resurrect him at the crypt. And there you have it. Three advanced locations early on in the game. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it wasn't an easy task to get them, it's not like a quick and easy guide this, I'm sorry, it's just a quick guide on how to get it, get these vocations, just not quick in doing so. But it will definitely be worth it as these vocations are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, uh, I'll be doing more guides on Dragon Dogma, Dragon Dogma <laughs> on each vocation in the future, so thanks for tuning in and remember, keep gaming, keep exploring and keep having fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content coming soon. So, until next time. Bye.